Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamotic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could track the cost of an option straddle in a specific stock. And we're going to use SPY in this example. In the left-hand side menu under options, I chose strategy benchmarks. And over here, we have different types of option strategies that we could choose from. And let's use the straddle in this example. And what this does is, I'm going to close this for a second to expand the screen. And what this does is track the cost of an option straddle in SPY. And a couple of things here before we get into it is, when we try to benchmark an option strategy, we have to choose a certain days to expiration because we have options that expire in a week, in 10 days, 20 days. So in order to track it, we have to have what we call a constant maturity. And here we have a 30 day, one month constant maturity, which we use an algorithm to look at the option prices and track a 30 day constant maturity. And then we select the at the money strikes and we convert them to a synthetic buying call and a buying put. And that's what the straddle is. When you buy a call and you buy a put at the money, you're purchasing a straddle. And here you could see that we convert that cost as a percentage of stock price. So at the current level in SPY, the cost of a 30 day constant maturity at the money straddle is 2.8% premium of the spot price. So if the stock was 100, it would be $2.80. And how does that compare to the 52 week average? We wanna see is a trading currently below or above its 52 week average. We could compare it here, 3.9%. Um, so we could see it is trading at a 1.1% uh, discount to its 52 week average or below its 52 week average. And down here, we could see the graph showing us the cost of this straddle over a one year period. So we could see here how high it got, how low it got and where it is relative to its 52 week average, which is this red line over here. If we wanted to look at further out options, we could scroll down and here we see a 60 day maturity at the money straddle and a 90 day maturity not, uh, at the money straddle and over here a 120 day at the money straddle. And this is a quick way to compare what the current straddle uh, cost is versus the 52 week average. And you could also compare cost of straddles cross assets very easily. So this makes it easier to track um, and to analyze. Hope everyone you enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys next time.